amounts of very welcome rain for the past few days. We are keen to get out into the slop. But first, there has been some vandalism. Someone in our group roosted my car and... Look what winds up on my bonnet. I have no idea what this is. I don't even want to think. I have consulted a scientist and sure your verdict? Well, I'm not sure if it's <laughs> igneous or paleolithic or biological. This footage is from a few months ago when a gas gas dealer brought two models along for us to ride for the weekend. I had just released review bids when KTM announced they were buying 60% of gas gas and would be shaking things up. There hasn't been a lot of news since then, but as of 2020, the gas gas enduro and trials bikes are still being hand built in Spain, and this will continue for at least the next few years. It certainly Whoa. hasn't killed my interest in the gas gas ranger as my next possible bike. European laws dictate that parts be available for any discontinued models for 10 years. So parts won't be a problem, even if KTM scraps the existing gas gas designs. Anyway, back to the riding. We are taking it quite easy, as even standing on a slight slope is risky business today. Oh God, this is slippery at the moment. Damn. Tire pressure makes a massive difference. Our bikes are running tubeless, so with only two PSI, this climb was quite easy. This looks better, here he goes. But the gas gas is still on standard tubes and has 12 PSI to avoid punctures. And Ben is really struggling to get it up this rut without wheel spin. It's chaos for us dry weather muppets who so rarely get to ride on clay. At this rate, I reckon we'll be paying for every scratch on these new test bikes. Woohoo! First crash. Pay the gas gas dealer a hundred bucks for every drop. Whoa, you're right, mate. That's what a gas gas looks from underneath. I'll give you a hand. Oh shit! Oh, I've just slipped down the hill too. He bit the single track. Jody hit that with his boot. Pitched him down there. Bike rescue. This was a two day ride. Let's fast forward to the next morning. <laughs> Day two, the coffee addicts, the drug addicts are at it. Jeff, keep mate. back, just keep back. <laughs> just mainline me, mate, straight into the artery. And I think this guy's OD'd. <laughs> I think the coffee's actually wrecking him. Of course, one thing we're worried about, Via Venezia, she's an Italian machine. We're just hoping the main bearings don't go on it. Um, Jeff has just discovered the power band on his Peter. Everyone is full of coffee. Let's hit the dirt. We all liked the Gas Gas Ranger and hope KTM doesn't drop it from the lineup. It's very similar to the extremely popular Vita Cross Trainer. It's slightly smaller, lighter, tuned for grunt instead of top end compared to standard enduro bikes. I've already done my review. Here is what the other guys thought. Gas Gas Ranger, it's like a lot of the free rides, uh, cross trainers, very similar type of bike, would suit a learner, that's not to say it won't suit a good rider as well, I was very impressed with the bike actually, yeah, the engine's got a lot of low down torque, it doesn't peak out like a normal 250, the bike's got Coab suspension, uh, front and rear, and it feels really good. The height of that bike was absolutely perfect actually, it would really suit uh, someone who struggles a bit with height. The Gas Gas Ranger 300 I found really nice slow down. Okay. It's for the mid and top range, it was a little bit different, it felt more like a trials bike. Found the suspension quite alright. Thought the Gas Gas Ranger would probably suit people maybe a little bit more into the entry level, just because it had a nice smooth motor and nothing too feisty to catch you out on, especially in the high end. Probably suits people like us that maybe do slow technical stuff that don't want to get up into the high and mid range too often. Super smooth engine, very happy with the engine. The KYB forks were a lot better the standard than the, my 2018 RR300. And uh, yeah, good on the big hits. 
Uh, the Ranger engine's smooth, a lot smoother than the beaters. Uh, grunt off the bottom, not quite as good as the cross trainer and the double R, but definitely if you're comparing it to the cross trainer, yeah, the cross trainer has a lot more right off the bottom and then maybe the, uh, the Ranger does pick up uh, in the mid range. The Gas Gas 300 Ranger was a lovely bike to ride. Immediately felt very light, nice low centre of gravity, which means balancing at low speed was very, very simple. I quite liked the suspension, although I suspect that if you rode hard uh, and fast, then you'd probably reach the limitations of the suspension quite quickly. The engine was lovely. It had quite a lot of low down torque, nowhere near as much as the Beta 300 R or Cross Trainer, but it was still a very, very nice, luggable engine. The clutch had a very, very nice and light, easy pull and action. Shifting the gearbox was perfect, faultless. I think the Gas Gas Ranger would make an excellent bike for somebody who has got good bike skills but just wants to transition from a four stroke to a two stroke. It may also suit some beginners, especially those who've got shorter legs because of the lower seat height.